But Jerry Falwell, Pat Robertson, Pastor Hagee, John Hagee, saying that New Orleans got destroyed because of God's vengeance. They're not alone. Here's Rod Parsley. We got uh, number 12 coming up here, Kelly. I mean, it, John McCain went out and sought Rod Parsley's endorsement. I just want to give you a taste of what Rod Parsley's all about. Here it is. Our culture has become completely intolerant of anybody who claims a belief system where there is an absolute right and an absolute wrong. They are intolerant of anyone who stands to defend the biblical definition of marriage as the union of one man and one woman. They are intolerant of anyone who stands up to defend the most helpless among us. Anyone who stands up to defend the sanctity, the dignity, the value of human life, we are now deemed worse than politically incorrect. We have become, in fact, culturally incorrect. And today, I will expose perhaps the greatest hypocrisy of this tolerance-touting culture and prove to you once and for all that underneath their smiles of inclusion lurks the sinister sword of segregation, of racism, of genocide. You heard me. Genocide in America. Now that's Rod Parsley. You know, I thought he was a Democrat for a second when he was talking about the most helpless among us. I was like, hey, wait a second. Are you going to start doing stuff for the homeless? Rod Parsley. But, you know, as I was listening to this, it occurred to me that I've heard this voice before. That, in fact, and I went out on the Internet and I found it. Rod Parsley is indeed Foghorn Leghorn, the cartoon rooster from the Warner Brothers studios. He is Foghorn Leghorn, and either that or he's doing an impersonation. But, you know, I was as I was going through this thing, I realized that if John Hagee, Pastor Hagee, can say that New Orleans got hit because of its gay pride parade plans, and if New York got hit, so according to Jerry Falwell and Pat Robertson, well, then... With the recent twisters, the storms, it's right here on MSNBC.com. We've got Midwest destruction, Oklahoma and Kansas being devastated. Well, then, it appears to me, and Kelly, you may want to pot this down, it appears to me, as Rod Parsley, that God has taken his wrath and his vengeance upon the people of Oklahoma who have forsaken God by taking the Bible, the word of Jesus Christ Almighty, and turning it into the voice of hatred, the voice of bigotry, the voice of anarchy, that Jesus himself is visiting the vengeance of the Lord on Kansas for taking the Lord's name in vain. I say, I say, son, I say, you can't call me Foghorn Leghorn without getting the vengeance of God. So there you go. I've got a new impersonation, a new impersonation of Rod Posley, who himself is impersonating Foghorn Leghorn. So, my friend, my, here's a quick John McCain. My friend, I say to you, now, isn't it simple intelligence, basic human intelligence, to know that when an earthquake hits China, causing the deaths of thousands, is that God telling the communist Chinese, you're bad, so I'm going to visit an earthquake upon you? How about when a cyclone hits Burma, Myanmar, whatever you want to call it, killing thousands or hundreds of thousands of people in the Irrawaddy Delta Valley. Is that God saying bad generals, bad generals? How about when an earthquake hit California in 1994? How about when any natural disaster hits anywhere? Can't we all agree that nature is random and that nature does what nature does? Are we really going to entertain the thought that when an airplane crashes somewhere with 222 people aboard, that God has assembled 222 bad people, vicious, nasty people who have forsaken the word of God and put them on a plane and then crashed it, crashed it into the ocean or crashed it somewhere? I mean, are we really going to entertain these thoughts that when a natural disaster brought about by the forces of nature, which are random, that this is the vengeance of the Lord? 
Have we lost our minds? Can't we just recognize that nature is what nature does? I'm not going to do a Forrest Gump impersonation right now. That would set a new world record for most impersonations by Norman Goldman in a short period of time. Nature is as nature does, and it does it randomly. It does it all over the place. And can we please stop reading the word of God into this? And can we please stop using the voice of God to explain these natural catastrophes? And can we most certainly stop using these catastrophes and ascribing them to the word of God Almighty and then turning that for our political purpose? It's just wrong. It's sick, and we have to stop it. We have to fight Jerry Falwell, who now is in... I hope, he's, I hope he can hear me. I'm being nice and loud. Jerry, you're down in hell. I hope you can hear me. And Pat Robertson and all these nut jobs. This is why we don't entangle politics and religion, and shouldn't, because of this. Thank you for letting me rant and rave. Your calls are next, one 934 6833 I had to get that off my chest. Hey, what do you think of Foghorn Leghorn? Is, is Rod Parsley doing Foghorn Leghorn? one eight seven seven. we got ed Norman Goldman at gmail.com. Your calls when we come back, and we're right back after this. Yes, Norman did meet Norman, and only one is a dog. You're listening to The Ed Schultz Show with Norman Goldman. <laughs> 